All right, people, we're going to do a little Ed puzzle on limiting reactants. Check out this problem. Potassium sulfide and magnesium chloride are mixed to produce potassium chloride and magnesium sulfide. This is a precipitate. Okay, 16 grams of potassium sulfide and 9 grams of magnesium chloride are used in this reaction. How many grams of magnesium sulfide will be produced, and which is the limiting reactant? We really need to figure out which is the limiting reactant first. So we have to work the problem twice. We're going to work it the first time with the 16 grams of potassium sulfide, all right? 16 grams of potassium sulfide. We have to, first, we have to balance the equation. And that's going to give us a 1, 1, 2, 1. All right, 16 grams of potassium sulfide. We're going to change that to moles. So we're going to say 16 grams divided by 110 grams, because that's what K2S weighs. 16 divided by 110 is going to be 0.145. Point one four five moles of K2S would produce, ooh, that's easy, point one four five moles of magnesium sulfide. So we would have point one four five moles of magnesium sulfide if we use the 16 grams here. Now, what if we use the 9 grams of magnesium chloride? Okay, so we're just going to work the problem again. So for this time, we're going to work it with the 9 grams of magnesium chloride, all right? Nine grams of NGCl2. See how many moles that will be. Nine grams and MgCl2, this will be 70, and that'd be 24. Nine out of 94. Nine divided by 94 equals 0 0.096 moles, okay? So, in this one, if it's 0 0.096 moles of MgCl2, 0 0.096 is to 1 as 0 0.096 is to 1. So, if we used the 9 grams of magnesium chloride, we would only produce 0 0.096 moles of magnesium sulfide. If we use the 16 grams of potassium sulfide, we would produce 0 0.145 moles of magnesium sulfide. So this one on the bottom is the limiting reactant. This is the one that's limiting us. It would make less. Does that make sense? All right. Now let's look at the first question. 16 grams of potassium sulfide all right, and nine grams of magnesium. How many grams of magnesium sulfide will be produced? Well, since this is the limiting reactant, that's all you're going to get. You're only going to get 0 0.096 moles of magnesium sulfide. 0 0.096 times magnesium sulfide weighs 24 plus 32. So that's going to be 56. 0 0.096 times 56, we're only going to make 5.4 grams. And that's it. That's how you do it. That's the whole video.